Hey guys, welcome back. BBCKR here, and we are back with a glitch for Injustice Gods Among Us. This is a glitch for resetting the Phantom Zone uh, progress, but keeping the rewards. And this right. is sort of like a modified version of the challenge reset, which is a corollary to our warning to have any Phantom Zone progress be something you're willing to have reset. You can sort of flip that the other way, and if you want to, you can choose to reset it and get more than just your two replays of the Phantom Zone. Right. So, yeah, so it's, we're taking a problem and we're exploiting it to our advantage. Yeah. So, first off, uh, we're Android only. And secondly, this only works when Phantom Zone is scheduled to be running. Obviously, it's not going to bring a Phantom Zone that's not here. So, the good thing is that lately it's been up for two weeks at a time. But unfortunately, if you're watching this video in any of the dead zones when Phantom Zone isn't running, this is not going to be helpful to you. Right. So this glitch shares a lot with the challenge reset, and we're starting by demonstrating that we are completing the Phantom Zone now. So this was yeah, this the last crystal, and yeah, this should be fast. I mean, it, this is a, a good team for doing both the Phantom Zone and also doing the um, the tasks. Mm -hmm. So the essential s steps are the same. So you want to clear app data, you restart the game with the internet connection. We're going to demonstrate all this. You disconnect from the internet, and not too early, not too late. Mm -hmm. Click on the Google Play Cloud icon in the top right, and it tells you when it was created, but not when it was updated. So it might look like it's really old, but it's not. Buy something in store to prioritize your game save over the server save for when you connect back to the internet. Yep. Reconnect to the internet. Uh, see that the Phantom Zone is now active again, and lock in the progress, and then go back online and lock in the. Um, sorry, do some Phantom Zone progress, and then lock it in by going back online. So what do we get? Yeah. We have got. All right, Batman Ninja Catwoman. Not Woman. bad. So we actually got a metal character. Yeah, so two things you want to pay attention to. So now you see our nth metal total is 5,437. That's going to be important to figure out if you're getting it to work or not. And we're just going to go in and demonstrate how many we've got so that when we reset it, we show that we've, we've got the Phantom Zone open again, but we did not lose our one extra copy that so would last got, a promoter. There we go. Because that's the most recent thing that we got, so this is what we would lose if resetting rolled back our progress. Right. Because that's basically the how all these glitches work is that you can reset your progress for a way of earning stuff, but you don't reset the earnings. Right, right. So let's start with the the first step. So again, it shares a lot with the challenge reset. Uh, we're going to get out of the game, and we're going to clear up data. But you can see at the top, Phantom Zone is finished, and tapping on it does absolutely nothing, right? Yep. And so normally what you'd want to do, the step sort of before clearing up data is you want to... Um, lock in your Google Play Cloud save. The problem with that is we've been doing a lot of stuff um, that we think has been helpful to that, but it doesn't do it consistently enough. It makes me think sometimes maybe it actually isn't anything that we're doing. Yeah. And it's just a matter of playing enough and it just does it on its own schedule. Um, so one, the, the two ways that we've said before to try to do it is logging in and out of Google Play. Mm -hmm. and also completing a fight. Or buying a pack. Or buying a pack. And you'd think that actually, you know what would absolutely do it? Would be buying something for cash. Yeah. For sure that would, because that requires you to be in the Google Play Store. So we're just doing a couple of those things right now, and we're going to get through a, a game, or sorry, a fight really fast. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe we should talk about some of the things that are going to come up. Because the most common um, problems, we mentioned the first one, is that um, the Google Play save, you can't force it. Another common question is, when you start doing the glitch and the cloud doesn't show up, that means you've lo uh, disconnected from the internet too early. Mm -hmm. And if you've got too much of the progress, which we're actually going to demonstrate in the first go, if you wait too long, then you're actually getting too far and then the server does something so that the phantom zone is still, the progress is still there. Yeah. And you're still locked out. Um, so a few notes too before, you make a backup before you clear app data. Um, you can do that with a third party app like Helium or Titanium. Mm -hmm. You can do that for your WBID by fighting online. Yeah, but you want to have ideally as many different uh, backups as possible right. when you clear app data because, well, you can see we're going to, clear app data now here. So yeah. let's go back to the steps that we're on. So this is step number one, clear app data after we've tried to force Google Play Cloud Save. Right. So G Google Play Cloud Save is sort of a, a hidden step number zero. Yeah. So step zero, Google Play Cloud Save. Step one, clear app data. 
and now we're going to restart the game with internet connection. Yeah. And sometimes, I don't know what's happened since the last few updates, but whenever I clear up that and now it, it crashes the first time. Yeah. And we got restarted. So we're going to... User permission. Yeah. Right. I don't know why it would need to make and manage calls, but... That's true. And then, all right, so we pick our account. Yeah. Secretly. And then... All right. So when we're going to disconnect from the internet um first time we're going to do too late this is one of those like uh the mama bear and papa bear right we got you got to do it just right we're coming in a little bit late and what's going to happen is we're going to see something that we don't want yeah and so this is going to be sort of our troubleshooting guide a little bit because we find that the people who run into issues often aren't the people who watch the entire video right so we're going to disconnect from the internet and this is too late We pick the cloud. Yeah, and the phantom zone is finished. Yeah. Which is not what we want. So, I guess troubleshooting for the other end, if you come in... Oh, there's the, the other problem, actually, where if you come in and you didn't force your Google Cloud save to register, when you go back into the game, You've got the Phantom Zone open again, but you've also lost your most recent Nth yeah. Metal and the last character you've got. Yeah. If that happens to you, just go online, log in, and then the server, without doing anything else, and the server save should override the progress that you've lost. Because you, you yeah. don't want to just re-roll. If you've got something good, you definitely don't want to re-roll. So we're still back in the game. We still haven't lost anything here is what's key that we're showing you now, but we also haven't reset the Phantom Zone. So when you do it like this, when you reconnect to the internet too late, you don't run into any issues. Right. It's basically just, just the same game. Yeah, you, you just wasted your time. Yeah. All right. So um, now let's maybe try yeah. to do it successfully. Yeah. So and we, so we'll start again because we know we've got the progress is saved on our WBID. So now we just need to clear the app data. And all right. So one thing is, in our experience, actually. The second time you try this, for whatever failure you got that you tr you're troubleshooting it, the second time that you try this, it's typically successful. Um, and the first time is sometimes successful, and this the success or the failure hinges entirely on uh, the Google Play Cloud Save. Mm -hmm. So there we go. And now oh. this is the right time. Oh shoot! You know what? Forgot to connect back to the internet. I gotta shut it down. Mm. Right, because we, we, this is another thing. Right, this whole idea of the how we're demonstrating this and the troubleshooting is really, th these are the kind of steps that you maybe don't realize when you screw them up. Like I just didn't realize yeah. until after we'd done it. So we're just going to start over again with, and this is to show you not everyone, you know, everyone makes mistakes. I was yeah. going to say not everyone makes mistakes, but that's obviously not true. <laughs> everyone does. So we're, we're restarting from scratch with the internet on. It's going to crash. It's going to open again. And you can see, because we opened it with the internet off, but not all the way, it's fine. You can just close it and restart. Right. You don't need to clear out that again. Right, because it didn't pick anything up. Yeah, so we're clearing out that, restarting the game with the internet connection. That's step number two. And now, we're going to disconnect from the internet. Not too early and not too late. Yeah. And that's sort of a, it's an interesting. Okay. So there we go. Right around there. And you'll notice too, right? You the, sort of get a sense for it. You get a feel if yeah. the more you do this. Yeah. And there we go. Infinite universes. Cloud. Top right. We click it. It says two years ago it was created. That's one of the problems. It doesn't tell you when it was updated. It tells you yeah. when it was created. And now what we're looking for is we're going to see what happens with... The Phantom Zone. Right, so we've got all our nth metal. Yep. We've got all our credits. So we want to know that we've got the last Catwoman that we got at the... Yeah. When we finished. And we do. So now, what we want to do is prioritize our game save over the server save. Yes. So the fastest way to do that would be just to buy something. Buy a bronze pack. It's yeah. the fastest and cheapest way. Exactly. 
Bronze pack is cheap, so we're not connecting to the internet. Bronze pack it is. We're going to connect back just as we're buying it because it's... It, it, the timing of this doesn't matter. You can buy it before or just right around the time because it takes a moment to connect back. Yeah. We spent our credits down to 13887 And we've tricked the game into thinking that we haven't done And our Phantom, Phantom Zone. Zone is back. There we go. And so we take a look in the Phantom Zone. And we have no crystals. Yeah. But we have our prize from and last we, time. Yeah, and we want to lock in some Phantom Zone progress. We want right. to be able to, you know, save it in this state. Save right. a little bit completed. So just we're just going to spend a bit of time. The one thing that I like the best, because what you, what you want to do with the Phantom's Progress is save it before you're actually back online on the server. Yeah. And the, the easiest event, or sorry, the easiest thing that you need to do, the task, is to get basic damage. Yeah. Because with the same team that we showed you getting the last crystal you can get basic damage complete on one fight. So we're trying to swap back and forth to get basic damage, right? Yeah, so from the veteran back to the elite to see which one is basic damage. Well, that was it. That was the basic damage. So we'll just go finish a fight. Same team, basic damage. And just really to be clear, right? So we've gotten in. We've still got our, our Batman Ninja Catwoman. Still got that one extra copy. Right. There you go. Because, yeah, that would be a shame to just spend all that time doing it. And instead of getting an extra run at it, you're just losing the one character that you actually wanted. Yeah. And so you can see here, you know, obviously everything takes time. But we're, we're less than 12 minutes in. And we showed completing the end of the Phantom Zone, doing the glitch, uh, doing it unsuccessfully once, yep. and then successfully the second time. Right. Uh, troubleshooting it, right? Yep. And all of that still only took 12 minutes. Right. And, you know, when you compare that with how long it actually takes to do a full crystal for the Phantom Zone, that's yeah. pretty reasonable. So the biggest benefit, actually, I think, from this uh, glitch won't be from playing it after you've played it three times and then playing it three times again. Because each time costs 50 Nth Metal. I think yeah. you're saving 50 Nth Metal. I think taking 10 minutes to do this is worth it. Every time. Because this is way more efficient at getting Nth Metal than even, say... Um, survivor yeah this is a way of farming valorum alloy for yeah. where you're only limited by how much time you have to play and not by the number of replays you have that's right and farming nth metal with no investment of nth metal every time you uh start a new crystal because right. for the it, it does take a long time to finish yeah the phantom zone really what they should let you do is do it again for currency because then that would be a way of converting currency and play time into nth metal which would be cool but this when you're converting smaller amounts of nth metal and playtime into larger amounts of nth metal like the fact that there's an upfront investment makes it sort of suck right. especially if you're coming up to the end of the uh challenge period right and you're not sure if you'd be able to complete right. it in time yeah you're investing nth metal and you don't know how much you're going to get back so just a reminder to say it again so in testing that when we were testing this glitch one of the most common points of failure was reverting to a time before completing the phantom zone instead of just resetting the Phantom Zone and getting a chance to play it again, right? The difference between just going back in time, losing all your stuff, yeah. versus keeping all your stuff, but just opening Phantom so Zone. So basically not an up-to-date recent Google Play Cloud save. Right. You basically have a Google Play Cloud save that undoes the last little bit of progress. Yeah, so to keep out of trouble, you pay attention to how much Nth Metal you have before you started. We have 5437, which is what we wanted, but if you had less, then it means that your um, the Google Play Cloud save was too old. Yeah. If that happens, don't go on to the next step. Just reconnect to the internet immediately and log back into your WBID directly. And fix it. Yeah, or either directly logging in or through online battles. Mm -hmm. And it, it resyncs you with the server, brings you back to the moment before you tried the glitch, which is completely the Phantom Zone, and then you just go back again. So now that we've done it, we've locked in some Phantom Zone progress. Mm -hmm. We've done some stuff, and we're just going to go back and uh, log back into online play with our WBID. Yeah. And watch. So nothing changes in our credit total. Nothing changes in our nth metal total. There we go. And we still have all our stuff. There we go. So like I said, yeah, it's it, this isn't going to take zero time. But, you know, even if you have to do two attempts, because like we've said, in our experience, when you do it twice, it seems like the second time is has a much better hit rate than the first time. Yeah. I don't know what it is exactly, if that's just us personally, but it seems like it's more than that. 
right? Because we're pretty consistent with the way that we do things. That's right. So, uh, but even if you have to do it twice, you know, about 10 minutes, right? Yeah. Yep. All things considered, maybe two minutes of us talking around and we're going, you know, a little bit slow. We're showing you everything here that we right. don't have to otherwise, because really you could be just looking at the nth mental total. So, you know, maybe budget for eight to 10 minutes to get this done and a little more for the first few times when you're learning how, but right. overall pretty quick, pretty expedient. Yep. There Especially considering how long it takes to do the Phantom Zone. Yeah. Is that everything? That's I think it. we're good. We are. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Komoda. Komoda.